Okay, so here we have the next vlog I need to edit. So I imported all my footage into the project, and now I've got to go through all of it and pick my selects. So I'm going to double click the first clip, and then right off the bat, instead of hitting space bar, clicking play, I hit L. And when I hit L again, it starts playing it twice as fast. When I hit L again, it speeds up even more. Plays, plays faster, plays faster. So that's the way I play the footage, and I usually press space bar to stop. But then where things really start to get fast is when you say your in and out points with using I and O. And so I'm scrubbing through this clip here, and I want this little section right when she hands me the change. So I press I, and I press O, and there, that little section of the clip. I'm gonna drag this down to new item. It's gonna create a new sequence based off my settings. I'm gonna move the playhead right to the end of there. Now this is where things really start getting fast. So select your next clip, hit L to scrub through. No, I don't like this clip. Press L to scrub through. I just triple clicked it to go really fast. Oh yes, so I want this bite. I press I, play through. There's the moment. Press O, comma, drops it right into the sequence. How cool is that? How great is that? It just makes things so much faster. So click your next clip, hit L, move through it. Okay, there's a moment, I, zero. Oh, I, O, actually. Click your next clip, play, L to speed up. Oh, here's a pound, boom, the pound. Hit O, comma, drops it into your sequence. So you can just power through this stuff. Instead of clicking through and trying to, you know, hit the in and out point here and then drag it into your sequence every time, just keep your left hand on your keyboard and just throttle between playing it faster or slowing it down. Hit I, zero, and comma. It's supposed to be just like a choppy quick edit. Don't get nitpicky with the frames because that's where you fine tune later. So that's the first tip. I'm just gonna quickly motor through here and pick some more clips and then uh, I'm gonna show you the next quick tip. So we have a few more clips in our project here. Just a little bit more so it looks more like an actual project. We're just gonna zoom in there by pressing the plus button or equals whatever you wanna call it. Okay, so the next tip comes when you're starting to fine tune your edit. So instead of going through here and then selecting the scissor tool, where's scissor tool, chopping the clip, getting back to your mouse, deleting it, and then clicking all these clips and dragging them back. What you can do is use the two nifty shortcuts, Q and W. Say that after me, Q, W. Awesome, you got it. So Q, when you press Q, is it ripple edits the clip to your playhead from the beginning. So watch me, I press Q, boom. It rippled from the beginning of the clip to the playhead. Let's say I wanna cut it a little more at the end, so I stop there, then when I press W, it ripple edits the end of the clip to your playhead. So that way when you're just going through here, I can hit W, boom, moves all the other clips over. It doesn't get rid of any of the other timing and you don't have to spend the time, you know, selecting and dragging over. Okay, but let's say you got an audio track beneath here. So let's get an audio track in here. Okay, so I got my audio track. Let's say I got my audio track in here. When I use these shortcuts, whoop, Okay, so I got my audio track in here. When you use these shortcuts, Q and W, it chops everything. So if I just press W here, it actually does a chop in the song too, and you don't want that. So Apple Z, what I'm gonna do is you can hit lock on the track, and then when you do your cuts, boom, it doesn't affect the audio track at all. There's another tip. Go to File, or actually Premiere Pro, Keyboard Shortcuts. We're gonna make a shortcut for Ripple Delete. So I already have it set here, but set it to E. So E, it doesn't actually have any other function until you set it. E, right next to Q and W. There, we're making it so simple. This is great. So what E does, now that you've selected for ripple delete, when you press it, when you have a clip selected and press it, it just gets rid of it entirely. So no fiddling around, you don't gotta worry. So I hope you found this helpful. If you wanna get in touch with me with any questions, please, Twitter, or Facebook, those are the best ways. Uh, if you like this video, consider hitting that like button because it helps uh, the video get around and more people can find it. And you can always head over to the blog, leftcoast.co. I got a lot of interesting stuff up there and some really good stuff coming. So you don't want to miss out on that stuff. Okay guys, until next time, remember, life's better when you make stuff.